a single second longer than I have to to use this unit. So, of course, we do have hit uh, these fully, you know, soul boosted and all that good stuff. So, we're going to hop into PvP and we're going to be using him on none other than Universe Rep. Uh, it's the team that makes the most sense right now, uh, especially seeing that they're developing and that's obviously what they're focusing on. And plus, he boosts that team. We also have uh, Bergamo here as well to help Zenkai boost him. But for the most part, this is going to be very, very interesting because I'm running this team without the likes of UI Goku, who I originally had on this team but took off in favor of Hit and then having him there to Zenkai boost. But anyway, let's go in. Also, uh, I'm really curious to see how the time skip mode works because I was reading the kit and it's saying that you have to land it upon Hit. So... Uh, I don't know if it's something that you because the way how they showed it in like, you know The a reveal and all that stuff is the opponent has to like attack you, but I'm not sure if that's how it is I, I, I don't know. So this is gonna be kind of like trial and error, especially if we get lots of special skill cards Okay, Beast Gohan is obviously here uh, Wait, I just realized hit nullifies um, was it uh, like abilities and buffs and all that stuff so if I use rising rush with him against Gohan his endurance shouldn't activate. So I could actually take advantage of that. So we could really take advantage of wiping out Gohan. Plus he does extra damage against blue units. You know what? We're leading off with you. Leading off with you. Obviously you're going in for him and her. And do I bring Golden Frieza? Actually, you know what? Just to take advantage of cover changing and endurance as well. I'll do this. But, um... Yeah, I'm hoping that this turns out well. I figured that they were going to lead off with Gohan Beast. But the thing is, again, it deals extra damage against blue units. It's, uh, I believe, plus 30% extra damage to blue units. Look at the intro! Let's get started. Let's get started. Okay. All right, let's see. I'm throwing 17. Oh, my ultimate damage is going up too, but at this point. All right, that's not good. Figures, okay, which is fine with me. That's fine with me. If Gogeta, oh. Actually, wait, no, that's good because that builds up my gauge. Bam, there we go. Also, uh, hits gauge builds up over time, so I actually have to wait. All right, he waited. All right, hit, go in. Dang, got him out of there. Ooh, set him out! Die. Oh, I knocked down my special skill. Dang! Dang! What? Perfect vanish, that's fine. Dang, that did damage! What? You're actually insane. There we go. Okay, his cover changes are gone. So literally all I need now is a special skill. I just need a special skill card to drop. Okay, we got one. I'm going to hold on to it uh, for as long as I can. Okay, that's fine. Bam. All right, let's see what happens. All right, so I'm going to pop this because, again, it, it's not clear as to how it works. No. Oh! Too slow. Okay. Mm! Okay, so that's how it works. Because, again, last time I said, like, upon hit. That's what was throwing me off, but you can just throw it out and it'll execute. So there's... Oh. There's that. He lost. I have Jiren, bro. Send her out! Okay, that's not good. Somebody tell me this dude already has double rush. No. Here we go. Gogeta has no cover changes. I'm not worried about him. Popping this. Like, somebody's dying. I'm, I'm gonna do this just to get that extra bit of damage. 
I figured Pan was going in, and that's fine. Those were crits. Send her out. Gone. Gone. Don't think there we go. Get combo. Dang, he's, he's so strong. That's fine. Okay, I am... Yeah, I'm gonna throw in 17, because something tell me this dude is trying to double rush. I feel it, but still. There we go. Somebody's dead. Just let it happen. Somebody's dead. Just let it happen. There you go. Okay, because I'm sitting there like, bro, somebody's dead. Just let it happen. Bye, Gohan. I'm charging just to force him to vanish. I think he's brain offing right now. That that's fine. You won. That's fine with me. Oh, my phone would disconnect. All right. Oh, okay, hit. Okay. Um, I'm hoping my phone reconnects. Just know that again. 17 died to throw a resin rush. That's all that. Okay, cool. My phone is disconnecting again. I'm assuming because it's overheating, but we landed rising rush, so it's all good. Uh, for what gets cut out, uh, I'll throw in a replay. But uh, stop. Yeah. Okay, this, this, this is the goal. That's him. Okay, so um, yeah, like I said, all that happened was 17 died. I threw and hit throughout Rising Rush. We landed it. So, uh, yeah, that worked out well. Thank goodness. Anyway, let's continue. So, yeah, um, it's it's very powerful. It's very powerful. In truth, I wanted to use that against Gohan because you can pop your main during time skip mode. Again, you do extra damage against blue units, and he's able to nullify endurance. It dealt a lot of damage against Pan, but our thing was sealed. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, Goku and Vegeta just makes this difficult for no reason. So, leading off with it again. Um, yeah, leading off with it. I do want to bring in 18. Uh, well, you're absolutely going in because of him. I probably could just go the neutral route and just throw in Jiren. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Again, cover changing options does help. Uh, I could bring in 18. She's she's actually a really good unit. But the only reason why I'm not bringing her in is because of Goku and Vegeta. Because they'll be annoying. That's it. If I knock those guys out, then 18 could shine. Because I know she can hold her own against uh, Gogeta. I've seen it. I've experienced it. But Goku and Vegeta, on the other hand, would be a problem. So... I'd have to try to keep them at bay to keep 18 alive, and it'll just be a headache. So, yeah. Let's get started. All right, hopefully my phone won't disconnect again. <laughs> Taking full advantage. I'm not thinking twice. I'm landing it. It's so strong! Just charged in. All right, bet. Ah, oh, darn. I thought he was going to follow up with another strike, which is why I threw in Jiren. But that's okay. No big deal. Alright, I'm going to pop this even though I really don't want to. Let's get Vegito in. Actually, let's activate this. Oh, perfect! Never mind. Alright, charge. I tapped that earlier. That's okay. Okay, and it was good enough. Thank goodness. Bam, bam. Also, my gauge is filling. All right, I'm going to drop. Not so. And rush. And go hit. Hit him with the... That's, it's the stance. It's the stance. They don't know nothing about that hit. They don't know nothing about it. Dawn! Man, I, I kind of want to end things with time skip mode. I kind of want to. Like, it's good that we got um, them out because they'll be annoying. Okay, that's fine. Uh, 
17 just to take a hit. Uh, I'm hoping that he doesn't use his uh, ult against 17. Obviously, 17 will nullify the endurance nullification, but uh, I really want him to rush with Gogeta thinking that that's going to help him. Also, we still don't have a special skill card, which is not good. Take the hit, hit. Okay. Can he take the hit? I didn't even feel that. I'm not going to be dumb and just throw out moves. Because he's just waiting and holding a rising rush. There it is. Alright, so we're going to activate it so he doesn't hold on to it. That's all we're doing. We're activating it so he doesn't hold on to it. Now, he can be comboed if we're lucky. I'll just pop this now. Okay. So, again, I'm hoping that we just get a special skill card. That's really what I want to get. I mean, Vegito's not going to live. I'm honestly just going to charge in. That, that's fine with me. Like, oh, perfect. We got it. There we go. All right. Oh, get pieced off. End him. Oh, no, bro. Come on, bro. Come on! No! <laughs> so, yeah, we technically did end it with time skip mode, which is really cool. Which is really, really cool. Uh, we got lucky when we drew that special skill. But, uh, yeah, that mode is powerful because even though it doesn't show the initial amount of damage that you're actually dealing, it accumulates it all, like, when you do the finisher. And I was going to throw out the ultimate attack because if I'm not mistaken, the ultimate attack does end time skip mode. So, but... Vegito's health was super low, so there was really nothing else we had to worry about. But he's fantastic! Mono... I'm not used to seeing Mono Red anymore. I'm really not. But, um... There's some Zenkai boosts going on, so this may suck. Uh, you're going in. You're absolutely going in. And she may act... No, not just for the androids. That's not a good idea. Also, the downside is the androids nullify endurance by default just as their basic ability, so... That can't be nullified. So, uh, if, and only if Rising Rush does happen, then I'll throw in Jiren. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll see We'll see how this uh, turns out. Also, Revival Cell is going to be annoying, too. Darn it, so. We have to activate his Revival immediately. I mean, he's not a oh, threat in terms of damage and all that stuff, but he's just going to be annoying. All right, damage is there. Swap. Androids are not going to save you. Unless you're able to swap, then that'll be a problem. Cool. What? No. Okay, well, 17 go crazy. His revival's activating, or... It didn't activate. What? We stopped that. Hmm. That's not saving you. Bam. Tap. I'm trying so hard to just stall so I can get that um thing off, but let's see. Ah. Hey, we're immune to that! We are immune, boy! Well, you're getting time skipped. No. <clears throat> Too slow. Alright, because I need to land this before time skip mode ends. Not dealing with none of that. Get pieced up. Die. You're absolutely dead. Gone. He's alive! Well, look at that perfect damage stuff. Okay, cool. We're looking crispy. I mean, this dude is quick with the vanishes, though. Still going. All right, happened late. Like I said, if this dude... Yeah, if this dude decides to... Um, all right, there's 18. So if this dude actually decides to use um, anything else, then, you know, we're kind of good. All right, no faint. That's fine. 
Pop in this. My power! Figures. Um, this still deals damage to them anyway, so I'm good. This is the end! That. Alright, there's that. Ha! Ah, there we go. So, yeah, like I said, Jiren was there just for the sake of being able to, you know... If they use Rising Rush, and they didn't rush with the androids, then I would have been good. Granted, the opponent did rush, so Jiren did have Endurance, but with the androids being alive, that would have been pretty bad. Also, again, that was a mono red team with Zenkai units, so that definitely wasn't a bot. But, uh, either way, though, we saw what Hit was capable of doing. He is really good. He's really, really good. Again, even against the likes of Beast Gohan, who we fought, and we did perfectly fine against, too. And him having extra damage buffs um, against blue units, at, you know, well, not only that, but also crits and that time skip mode makes it extremely powerful. Add the fact that he's able to cover change both blast and strike makes him extremely formidable. A again, the, I would say the one drawback, which isn't really a, like a drawback like that, is that his unique gauge takes a long while to charge. But when it does charge, whoever's in is getting annihilated for the most part. I'm actually surprised. Oh, we didn't knock out Solo. That was, that was kind of crazy. But, uh, well, then again, what? He was being Zenkai boosted, so maybe he could live it. Either way, though, this unit is fantastic. This unit is absolutely fantastic. His kit is great. But he nullifies uh, cover change when you pop his uh, special skill if uh, your gauge, unique gauge, is not full. Uh, what else? He nullifies endurance. Like, he has time skip mode, which is extremely powerful. Granted, you can't rush, but still really, really strong. Uh, he deals extra damage against blue units in a blue unit dominant meta, with the exception of Ultra Gogeta Blue. This unit is fantastic, and I do believe you guys should summon for him for sure. But I do want to know in the comment section below if you guys do have Ultra Hit, what team did you put him on, and how did he work out for you? But with that being said, I'm Itakuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.